Well, it looks like I'm as good as gold in the sugar department thanks to the latest promo over here at Krispy Kreme as they celebrate St. Patty's Day 2023 with their all-new donut collection for the holiday. And I gotta say, guys, outside of the really awesome looks of these donuts right now, of course, I gotta know if the flavor is gonna deliver. So stay tuned because I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. So yeah, the sugary goodness over here at Krispy Kreme, I would expect nothing less of the tastiness on deck with this one, guys, and especially with the St. Patty's Day holiday, of course, they're looking pretty festive. Plenty of green all throughout. There's actually one particular donut in this collection that's a first for them, actually, with something that it's got. So very, very cool in terms of the presentation on these for sure. Okay, now with five donuts, and like always, whenever I do these Krispy Kreme reviews, I'm gonna manage my sugar by going for a bite of each of them, and then going for a sip of green tea in between just to kind of wash the palate, and then we'll move on to the next one. So very excited to give this a go. Let's get started with what looks like a pretty standard variation here, guys. Basically, they're chocolate iced with sprinkles. And as you can see, that's exactly what it is. An original glazed donut that's dipped in chocolate icing, then finished off with a little festive St. Patty's Day sprinkle blend on the very top. A little green, a little white. It's definitely looking pretty good. I think I know what to expect from this one. Let's peep this out. Mm-hmm. It's exactly what I expected. Well, this one kind of appears to be the throwaway variation of this collection, guys, because it's the standard chocolate donut over here, the ice glazed donut in the very top, as you can see on the original action right over there, with a little bit of a sugary blend on the very top, which you can't really taste too much of, but it adds a nice amount of crunch to it there. It's not bad for what it is, but again, classic Krispy Kreme goodness with plenty of that glaze. So what you're getting is just basically the standard goodness here with a little bit of a festive dress up, so to speak, on the very top. That's about it. So, all right, let's go for a quick swig and we'll move on. Mm. Always tasty. All right, next up is the Golden Sprinkle Donut. And I have a feeling this one is gonna be very familiar as well. It looks very similar outside of the icing on the very top. But what you've got here is an original glazed donut. And in this case, it's gonna be dipped in green icing and then finished with the same Patty's Day Sprinkle Blend, very similar to the other one. But if you look closely, we've got a little bit of golden ball sprinkles as well to go with that. So a little bit more festive with this one, but again, very similar overall. And of course, we've got that Krispy Kreme goodness on the very bottom. The glaze is pretty obvious with this. Let's give this one a shot. It's the golden sprinkle donut. Let's peep this one out. Standard glazed Krispy Kreme donut with some extra icing on the top. Nothing wrong with that. It's festive though. And honestly, that's not a bad thing because even a regular Krispy Kreme donut is gonna be pretty amazing. But what you're getting with this one here is more in flash than it is substance because it's the same familiar glazed donut action at Krispy Kreme with some extra icing on the very top, which doesn't have any other type of flavor. It doesn't really even taste like a vanilla type of frosting. It's just a heavier amount of glaze on the very top along with those little crunchies, as you can see with that sprinkle. So this one is okay for what it is, but outside of the chocolate variant, that's pretty much it. You're not really tasting any chocolate. It's a regular glazed donut with some heavy icing, but not bad though. All right, so let's wash the palate before we move on to round three. <sighs> Refreshing. All right, next up, guys, feast your eyes on this one. The Hat of Gold Donut, a very cool combination of St. Patty's Day festivity with this one, with a nice little sugar piece in the very top. This is looking pretty cool. And hey, if you're saying to yourself, isn't that the same chocolate ice donut that I started this review out with? Well, guys, it actually is. That's the base of this one. It's the same chocolate ice donut, but in this case, it's gonna be topped off with a plaid green icing pattern and then finished off with a very decorative leprechaun hat sugar piece. And that's really what makes this particular one. So again, a little bit more flash than substance, I think, but still, it looks pretty cool. So let's go for a quick bite of this one, and I'm gonna be pretty surprised if the icing stands out above the chocolate. I have a feeling this is gonna be the same as the first one, but here we go. It's the Hatted Gold Donut here at Krispy Kreme. Let's peep this one out. No different. All flash, but no substance in the variation department, but still pretty tasty. Well, so far we're just three for three in the flash department, guys, because these are the same Krispy Kreme donuts that I've had a million times over. The chocolate glaze tastes exactly the same, and the other variation that I did before, this one is exactly the same as well, with no difference in the frosting there. But still, the flavor is very tasty. It's very fresh, and as you can see, they're glazed beautifully. But the decorative sugar pieces on this one, I gotta say, that's what really makes this one here, and it's very festive for what it is. You gotta love the green, and of course, very nice in terms of the artistic standpoint. Pretty cool looking. All right, palette wash time once again, and I'm very excited to get into this next donut. Just hang on a second. 
All right, ready for action. And guys, this one I am very excited about. Guys, feast your eyes on the golden cookies and cream donut. And this one is very beautiful, guys. Hopefully you can see the shimmering goodness on this. This is really looking pretty awesome and it feels pretty hefty in the hand. Yes, sir, this one definitely feels premium. So basically what I've got here is a golden cream filled donut that's dipped in white icing and then it's covered in their first ever golden cookie pieces and gold sprinkle blend. And I gotta say, it really stands out beautifully. And guys, again, it really feels like a more upper scale type of donut compared to the other three. Very cool looking and again, the heftiness is on point. So yeah, you gotta appreciate the heftiness on top of the good looks, guys. And considering this one is pumped in there with that cream action there, I'm expecting some really good stuff with this. A very nice situation indeed. This feels really nice in the hand. It's a little bit small, but it's thick and dense feeling. So let's give this a go. It's the all new Golden Cookies and Cream Donut, part of the St. Patty's Day collection for 2023 here at Krispy Kreme. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Rich and dense yet airy and light guys. And the fact that it has those cookie pieces on the top, the cookie almost feels like a powdery type of blend on the very top there as well. There's no real crunch, but it's soft and it's definitely satisfying. Plenty of cream on the inside and the overall freshness is off the chart and very beautiful in the presentation. Those gold flakes that I'm seeing there really highlight this one beautifully. Very nicely done on this and very satisfying. This is easily top tier, very delicious. But you know what, on the real, I'm kind of wondering why they didn't top this one with green icing. I mean, they went with white icing, and I think that's kind of strange considering St. Patty's Day. I think it would have stood out just a little bit better with green. And then you had the cookie and then actually that golden pattern on the very top there. That would have been a nice little duality of color, but still very tasty on this one, guys. Very tasty indeed. All right, let's go for one last palette wash before we move on to the last donut. Hang on. All right, ready for the final round. And honestly, I think this one's gonna be a little bit more flash, but still, it looks pretty cool. Feast your eyes on the rainbow cream filled donut, and it looks like I've hit the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow here, although there's not so much gold to speak of, I have to admit, just a few pieces. This is really looking pretty nice though in terms of the festivities there, and I gotta say, it really does mark the holiday pretty nicely for what it is. And what it is is an unglazed shell donut that's pumped with white cream that's dipped in green icing and then finished with a rainbow sugar piece, vanilla buttercream, and coin sprinkles. So a little bit more flash on this one, but very familiar in terms of the ingredients list. It still looks pretty good though for the holiday, I do have to say. So no matter how familiar this one may taste, it's still a Krispy Kreme donut. Let's peep this one out. Yep, flash, still tasty. And just to taste the buttercream with this one here, we'll take some of these clouds off this one here. It's okay, not bad. Well, like I've said many times in the past, even though this is more of a flash type of donut, it's still a Krispy Kreme donut, so the quality is very solid on this one. Just don't expect any variation in flavor. Like I said, this one is really set up for the holiday and it's dressed nicely. And overall, I have to say with the buttercream for the clouds, nice little combination there, it looks very festive. Wish I had a little bit more of the gold coin action on the very top, but you're not gonna notice any difference with this one because the icing is exactly the same as Krispy Kreme. There's no difference with that green color, and overall, the freshness is still on point. Something to check out though, it is still pretty festive looking. Well, I wouldn't say four out of these five donuts here at Krispy Kreme for St. Patty's Day are forgettable, but they do offer the same familiar flavors that you're gonna be used to. They're just dressed up for the holiday and there's really nothing wrong with that. But guys, there's really only one real standout here that does the job, and I think you know exactly what that is. Still, this collection is worth going in on and they look really, really great in the case. I have to admit, really beautiful in that presentation department for sure. Well, as for the scores for this collection, I think I'm gonna lump three of these donuts together considering they're pretty much the same thing outside of the chocolate icing. So for the chocolate ice sprinkles, the golden sprinkle donut, and the hat of gold donut, those are all gonna get a very solid seven out of 10. Essentially the exact same donuts that you know from Krispy Kreme with the icing differentiation, that's really the main thing, on top of the decoration for the holiday. But guys, very festive for what they are. And again, it's a Krispy Kreme donut. Of course, they're gonna be pretty tasty, right? Next up, let's go for the rainbow cream filled donut because again, another familiar situation indeed. That one's gonna get a pretty decent eight out of 10. It's pretty much the standard cream filled donut that you'll get over here at Krispy Kreme. Again, set up for the holiday, very festive on the outside of what that is. And again, that sugar piece for the rainbow, the buttercream, the way that it looked, not bad in the presentation department, but again, very familiar. A little bit more flash, but still, it's a Krispy Kreme donut. Of course, it's tasty, right? 
And of course, rounding out this collection, we've got the Golden Cookies and Cream Donut for St. Patty's Day here at Krispy Kreme with a rock solid 9 out of 10. Just a beautiful presentation across the board with that, guys, with the shimmery golden goodness. The cookies look really awesome on the very top. There was plenty of them, plenty of cream on the inside. The only thing I wish they would have done with this one is maybe put a little bit of green icing, maybe the lighter style. That would have been a nice little combo. But even still, it's a delicious type of donut, and the presentation is pretty killer on it. Just a nice overall part of this collection. Very good. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the collection for St. Patty's Day here at Krispy Kreme for 2023. Did these look like they're pretty amazing to you? And out of all the ones that I showcased here in this review, which is all of them, which is your personal favorite and why? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.